Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and here on YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make Gandalf the Grey's staff. Fun project. You don't need a whole lot to do this project. You need a broomstick or a dowel and a piece of foam and you can make this project. I show you how to do it. Well, and some glue and paint. But um, And also I go a little bit further if you want to go further with this and I show you how to make the crystal. So, yeah. The crystal that goes inside and how to light it up if you want to. That's optional if you want to go a little bit further. Um, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If not, hit that button. Dioramas, origami, telescopes, uh, terrariums, uh, uh, blacksmithing, uh, animation, uh, darn it. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, the first thing we're going to look at is how to make this assembly with the crystal and the, the, the battery and the switch. And I'm going to show you how to make the crystal. Uh, get yourself a piece of foam and carve it to the shape of crystal that you want. Mine is about an inch in diameter. I think it's about six to eight inches in length. And, uh, and I just cut it and kind of carved it until it was uh, crystal shaped. You know, it's got that beautiful like eight-sided kind of long eight-sided uh, shape that a crystal can have sometimes. So just uh, do that. Use any tools you got available to you. You don't have to use a hot wire foam cutter like I have here. But we want to use foam and uh, you'll see why. Now I'm going to use something called an amazing mold putty. It's a two-part putty that you make molds with. You take equal amounts of each part, part A and part B, and you mix them together. Cause, and then you mold that over your foam crystal. Because we're going to make a copy of the, the pink foam, the crystal that we've made. We're going to make it one out of crystal. And there you go. So now what we have there is a mold. Set it aside and let it dry. And once it's dried, you can't get that crystal out very easily. So what you can do is just use some pure, pure acetone on it. Nail polish remover. That reacts with the foam and makes it disappear. Watch. This is real time. I'm not speeding this up. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. So now what we have is um, a mold without the foam in it and we can now we can cast some kind of a resin in there to make our crystal. Now the acetone doesn't harm the yellow mold at all, it just dissolves this, the foam. So m mash it up, rinse it out, get all that foam excess out until it's nice and clean and now we can cast using something called Easy Cast. Two part resin, you can buy it anywhere. You mix equal amounts of A and B and stir them up and then you pour them in your mold and then you let that set here let me just show you pour that in your mold and one thing about this is that when you're doing this while you're pouring it and after it's poured uh, you can wrap on the table and that will bring the bubbles out now the bubbles are brought to the surface and out of your crystal. So do that. It'll make for a better looking crystal. But see, we made, a, we made a foam crystal, we made a mold of it, and then we poured our easy cast into it, and we ended up with a crystal like that. Once it's hardened, it takes a few hours, you can remove it from your mold. And, and I don't have any video of that, sorry. But, uh, so now let's put the bulb in it. I drilled a hole, that's a little Christmas tree bulb. I drilled a hole for, that fits, fits it like this. And I drilled a couple of holes on the side as ventilation for the heat. Just in case, I thought it might be a good idea to vent any heat coming off of that bulb. There isn't much heat, but it will extend the life of the bulb. So place the bulb in and glue it in. And then add some wires for your battery and your switch. I solder things in to make it nice and strong. You don't have to solder anything. You can just twist your wires together and take them over with electrical tape. There's the switch, little push button switch I had on hand. And there's the whole circuit. A battery 
a crystal with a bulb in it, a battery, and a switch. And there you go. You've got a nice little um, crystal that lights up for Gandalf's staff. So now let's go ahead and make the staff. I used a wooden dowel that was an inch and a quarter thick, and it's like seven feet long, so I cut it down to about five feet in length. And now we're going to make the head of the staff, and it's going to look like this. Two pieces of foam, we're going to carve the hollow out of them. See like this? So measure it out like this so it, your crystal will fit in there and then scoop yourself out the foam so the crystal will fit in there on both halves, on this piece of foam and on the other piece. And you'll see what I mean. See it, how it's like that? And now you need a part that holds the wooden staff and just wrapping sandpaper around your staff and doing this will make that nice. So what we want here is these two pieces, these two blocks of foam to just go right around everything like this. And this is the basic concept of how you can carve, carve the staff. See it? There's the cavity for the crystal. The, the wooden staff is in place. And now we have a block of foam we can carve into our staff head. Right? So tape those together. And then sketch out how the staff should be approximately. And this is um, you know, an interesting thing in that you just start out with rough cuts and then you, as you're working it, you'll get better at it, you'll refine it, you'll get a little more detailed, you'll see how the foam is going. So you just start whittling away at the pieces like this. I used a hot wire foam cutter, you can use a rasp, you can use um, a sandpaper, you can use a knife, a hobby knife, all kinds of stuff, and just have some fun with this and you'll see how it starts to take shape. Just take your time with it. It actually took me, I think it took me about four or five hours to do all the carving. And the important thing is there that it's twisted branches that kind of spiral like a barber pole. So kind of keep that, sh that basic um, shape. You carve away some, the lines are gone, redraw some lines and keep carving it. And then come to a point where the See, I started with the rough tools and then I started working with the more uh, finer tools. And then come to a point where you're going to break through that cavity where the crystal is. That's wonderful because this way you'll be able to have the, when it lights up, you'll be able to see it. And then finish it off with some sandpaper. And the interesting thing about this is that once I was done with it and I painted it, I was like, hmm, you know, it's still a little too big. I think I should trim it some more. So I went ahead and I'll show you that. I trimmed it some more and it looks much better. So now this is wood, so we make like a wood root and grain design with a pencil. Just, you know, scoring that foam. All of it, do all of it on both halves. Make a wood grain. And let's put it together. So our crystal and our battery and our switch. Put some glue, a hot glue on it. You can use a regular glue. Be careful with hot glue. If it's too hot, it could melt the foam. Melt the foam and melt right through the foam. So test first. And glue those two halves together with the staff. Now watch, I put the staff in there real quick. See it, you can only see it there quickly, briefly. Put the staff in there and then glue the head of the staff right on and then tape that so it's held together tightly. And once it's dried, and then do, well, do some touch-up work. In this case, I wanted it to mat meet the staff, the wood, nicely, so I trimmed all of that down there. And then painting. Now it is wood, but it's kind of like driftwood, so I first painted it all brown, and then on top of the brown, I added gray to make it more like a driftwood. So yeah, so have fun with this. And this is what I was talking about earlier. I was like, you know, it's still a lot of, it's an awful lot of staff, an awful lot of twisted branches. And I think it would look better if I cut away the top few inches of this. So I, that's what I did. And I was right, I like it much better because it opens up the top and um, it, can, it allows you to see more of the crystal. And it just looks more like the staff from the movies. So I cut away a bunch of it, see? 
But that's, you know, that's a good tip for you. You know, it's never too late. You can always kind of keep tinkering with it. See that? I really like that. So I, once I got it all reshaped again, I painted it again and it was done. So there you go. You've made Gandalf's staff the gray staff. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you make this project, be sure to send me a picture. I will put the picture on my website and I will send you a certificate of contribution. Um, thanks for watching. There you go. It's all done. Love that crystal. And that's a standalone tutorial. If you just want to learn how to make a crystal, it's right here in this video. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.